Hi friends, welcome to our channel A2 Success. In the video, PGTRB Zoology Unit 1 Fishery Resources of India Ukana Short Notes Pakla. Introduction Fisheries and aquaculture remains to be an important source of food, nutrition, income, and livelihood to millions of people. India is the third largest fish producing country, contributing 8% to the global fish production and ranks second in aquaculture production. The fish production in 2021-22 is 16.24 million tons, comprising of marine fish production of 4.12 million tons and 12.12 million tons from aquaculture. Andhra Pradesh is the largest fish producer in the country, followed by West Bengal and Gujarat. Around 14 million people are engaged in fisheries and its allied activities. India has a total water surface of 3,14,400 square kilometer along with 8,129 kilometer coastline, 0.5 million kilometer square of continental shelf and 2.02 million kilometer square of exclusive economic zone is a sea zone prescribed by the 1982 United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea over which a sovereign state has special rights regarding the exploration and use of marine resources including energy production. The recently concluded Blue Revolution Scheme launched in 2015-16 for integrated development and management of fisheries made vital contributions towards development of the fisheries sectors. The establishment of National Fisheries Development Board, Central Marine Fisheries Research Institute, National Institute of Oceanography, Central Institute of Inland and Brackish Water Aquaculture, Central Institute of Freshwater Aquaculture, National Institute of Ocean Technology, Marine Products Export Development Authority, Central Institute of Fisheries Nautical Engineering and Training, Tamil Nadu Fisheries Development Corporation, Fisheries Information and Service Sector Centers has led to the generation of considerable information on various aspects of marine biology, marine, freshwater and brackish water fisheries and oceanography. Fish farming. Fish farming is the raising of fish for personal income or profit in a controlled environment such as a pond or tank. Fishes are classified on the basis of habit, on the basis of feeding habit, on the basis of migration. First you can see classification on the basis of habitat. Freshwater fish. Fish that spend most or all of their life in freshwater such as rivers and lakes having a salinity of less than 1.05 ppt. Cold water fish, examples, magazine, trot, etc. Warm water fish, examples, carps, catfishes, snakeheads, tilapia, etc. Brackish water fish, fish that can tolerate a wide range of salinity that is 1.05 to 30 ppt and live in liver mouths, backwaters, mangrove swamps and coastal lagoons. Examples for brackish water fish, mullets, milkfish, sea bass, pearl spot, mud skipper, etc. Next, marine fish, fish that can spend most or all of their life in sea water such as seas and oceans having salinity above 30 ppt. Examples for marine fishes, cartilaginous fishes, sharks, skates, etc., bony fishes, pamphlets, Indian mackerel, searfish, parangids, ribbon fishes, catfishes, flatfishes, sardines, tuna, etc. Classification on basis of feeding habit, plankton feeder, example, silver carp, cutler, etc., Herbivore, example, grass carp, milkfish, etc. Carnivore, example, common carp, 
pearl spotfish etc omnivore fishes example snake head sea bass etc depending on the position in the water column they occupy the fishes are surface feeder fishes which live in the surface and feeding mostly on the food available in the uppermost layer of water example katla feeding on zooplankton and the silver carp feeding on phytoplankton next column feeder fishes which live in the middle water or column water and feeding in the middle layer example rohu feeds on plant matter including decaying vegetation and grass carp bottom feeder fishes which live in the bottom and feed on the benthic fauna example mirgal feeds on detritus and common carp on molus classification on the basis of migration a large number of fishes move from one place to other place for the purpose of feeding or spawning example the cod herring salmon eel the lampreys tunas etc next patterns of migration diadromous fishes these are truly migratory fishes which migrate between the sea and fresh water and are three types first first one anadromous fishes fishes which spend major part of their life in the sea but migrate to fresh water during breeding period for spawning example salmon lamprey elsa etc next one catadromous fishes fishes which spend a major of their life in the fresh water but migrate to the sea for breeding purpose example eel ancula ampidromous fishes fishes in which migration from fresh water to the sea or vice versa is not for the purpose of breeding but occurs regularly at some definite stage of the life cycle example guppies next one potamodromous fishes fishes which live and migrate within the fresh water example the carps the trout etc next one oceanodromous fishes fishes which live and migrate within the sea example the cod the herrings mackerels and the tunas etc types of fish farming first one monoculture only one species of fish is culture it offers high production and quality of fishes example trout tilapia catfish carps etc next second one polyculture or composite fish culture numerous species of appropriate fish are grown in the same pond example catfish paddle fish tilapia katla rohu mirgal etc third one land based fish farming land based fish farming takes place on land usually in man made ponds or tanks next one fish culture in cages the method is suitable for the monoculture and polyculture of some species next fifth one integrated fish culture integrated fish culture is farming of more than one crop concurrently in a water body to ensure maximum production and maintain the balance of the environment such as fish culture in paddy fields poultry cum fish culture vegetable farming cum fish culture etc next one extensive fish culture the extensive fish farming system is the least managed form of fish farming in which little care is taken the system involves large ponds measuring 1 to 5 hectare in area with a stocking density limited to only less than 5000 fishes per hectare no supplemental feeding or fertilization is provided here next one intensive fish culture an intensive fish farming system is the well managed form of farming in which all attempts are made to achieve maximum production of fish from a minimum quantity of water this system involves small ponds or tanks with very high stocking density next one semi intensive culture fish production by using both natural food and supplementary feed 
this is a transitional stage between the extensive and intensive method and full potential of the ponds are not utilized next one monosex culture monosex culture is the culture of either male or female fishes culturable fishes of india indian major carps example carps katla katla labio rogita sirgena mirgala etc next one exotic carps example cyprinus carpio minor carps example labio bata catfishes examples valago atum mistus or clarius batracus murals are snake heads chana striatus tilapia oreochromus mosambicus sport fishes trots salmo gaitneri marine fishes example leads calcarefer mugil cephalus chanas chanas types of fish ponds within the fish farming pond system there can be different pond components namely nursery ponds the pond where spawn is reared up to fry stage is known as nursery pond it takes about 7 to 12 days for this stage nursery pond of 0.02 to 0.05 hectare area having a water depth of 0.5 to 1 meter is ideal for spawn stocking next one rearing ponds rearing ponds are used to culture the fry the fish fry are transferred from nursery ponds to rearing ponds and are maintained for about 3 months till they reach 10 to 15 cm in length in this rearing ponds the fry develops into fingerlings breeding pond the healthy and sexually mature male and female fishes are collected and introduced to this pond for breeding then the eggs are released by the female or fertilized by the sperm catching pits this is a pond that is used for catching it is a place for artificial breeding in this catching pits are catching kappas fertilized eggs are transferred for catching stocking pond this pond is known as culture pond or production pond as these are used to rear fingerlings up to the marketable size characteristics of cultivable fishes fishes should have high growth rate in short period for culture they should accept supplementary diet they should resist some common diseases and the infection of parasites fishes proposed for polyculture should be able to live together without interfering or attacking other fishes next one external factors affecting fish culture the factors that affect the fish culture are temperature light rain water flood water current turbidity of water ph hardness salinity and dissolved oxygen preparation of pond conditioning a layer of lime is spread over the bottom for 2 weeks it removes the acidity of the soil and kills unwanted soil organisms water may be let in after 2 weeks and filled to the desired depth the quality parameters such as temperature oxygen content ph turbidity hardness alkalinity and plankton growth should be checked next step is manuring after 2 weeks of liming the fertilization is to be done to develop the growth of fish food organisms that is the growth of phytoplankton and zooplankton manure may be organic include urine rich in nitrogenous matter cow dung pig dung poultry manure and plant manure oil cake etc or inorganic fertilizer including urea npk ammonium sulfate etc management of fish farm feed and water quality are the two major factors governing the productivity of the fish culture pond water quality involves the regulation of 
temperature at 25 to 33 degree celsius dissolved oxygen ph 6.529 hardness alkalinity turbidity and plankton culture etc feeding apart from natural food most cultured species need artificial feeds it should contain 30 to 40 percentage protein 5 to 10 percentage fat 50 to 60 percentage carbohydrate less than 5 percentage cellulose 10 percentage water vitamins and minerals Animal and vegetable ingredients can be used in formulating feed pellets, fish meal, silkworm pupa, wheat, rice bran, aquatic weeds, oil cakes, etc. Carnivorous fishes such as morals and catfishes may be provided with thrash fishes. Edible fishes of Tamil Nadu, Indian major carbs, Katla Katla. Katla has a deep body with a prominent head, large upturned mouth, non fringed lips, devoid of barbels, and a broad dorsal fin with 14 to 16 branched rays are the identifying features. It feeds on zooplankton of the pond surface. However, the young ones feed on zooplankton and phytoplankton. It grows to a maximum size of 1.8 meter. It is a fast growing species among the Indian major carp. Labio rohita, rogu. Of all the carps, this is the tastiest fish. It has a small and pointed head, terminal mouth with the fringed lower lip, a dorsal fin with 12 to 13 branched rays and reddish scales for its identifying features. It is a column feeder on phytoplankton, plant debris or decaying debris of the aquatic plants. However, the young one feed on plankton. The maximum size attained is 1 meter. It is fairly fast growing species. Third one, Sergina mirgala, a linear body small head with a blunt snout, subterminal mouth with a thin non-fringed lips, dorsal fin with a 12 to 13 branched rays and a bright silvery body having golden tinge are its identifying features. It is a bottom feeder on decaying organic and vegetable debris. However, its young one feed on zooplankton. The maximum size attained is 0.9 meter. Catfishes order siluriforms. The catfishes are air breathing or live fishes as they are capable of directly breathing atmospheric air. They can live for a long time without water and can therefore be transported live and in fresh condition over long distances. The body is without scales. And each of the upper and lower jaws possesses two pairs of long barbels in each. Majority of the catfish are predatory, feeding on all pond animals including fish fry. Next one, morals or snake heads, order chunny forms. The fish are also air breathing, elongated and cylindrical body, depressed head, large and protracted mouth. Morals are suitable for culture in irrigation wells and shallow swamps. Channa marilius, it is suitable for culture in ponds along with tilapia. Tilapia order Percy forms, Oreochromus mosambicus, an exotic fish introduced in India from east coast of Africa in 1952. It is characterized by an anterior spinous dorsal fin and posterior soft dorsal fin. Maturity occurs even in two months old individuals. Female keeps the fertilized eggs guarded in its mouth. Thank you for watching this video.